Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 398, the first episode of the new year. Welcome, welcome. So, we have some news for this week's episode. Nothing much, um, just a few. Uh, there's one really interesting one I guess I can share with you guys. So, let's not dilly-dally and let's hop right into it. So, Hasbro opens store on AliExpress. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So, if you guys got no idea what AliExpress is, AliExpress is China's version of Amazon. Yes, Amazon. Uh, they're most likely a wholesaler. Uh, no, that's Alibaba. AliExpress is more of their um, Amazon. But what this is or what AliExpress is is just China's version of Amazon where you can buy stuff for cheap uh, they're the place where you want to get stuff like cheap dresses cheap phone cases cheap toys or whatever it is and for Hasbro to open up an official store on AliExpress that is very interesting um, there's a link over here that jumps us to the official uh, AliExpress Hasbro store and mind you that you're looking everything here in American dollars I'm not 100% sure if this is um, you know what Let, let's go for something that we know um, pony toys pony toys okay ah okay uh, normal price is Sixteen eighty seven. Now it's seven point seven six. That's interesting, and this is from what I can tell, is not bad price. Like okay, uh, I have a converter here. Ah okay. Um, normally this toy for me would cost about around the sixty plus. Now it's almost half price. So over here is twenty five percent off, but for me it would be half price. But still, thirty bucks for the. Uh, Equestria Girl Mini is pretty okay and the fun part about this is I can buy from this store because AliExpress ships worldwide in quotation you may get tax if the item comes in depending on what you buy blah, 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 blah. but having it here this is pretty interesting this is quote unquote a smart move by Hasbro because sometimes uh like people who don't live in the United States or the North Americas, we can buy stuff from there without getting import tax and whatnot. Uh, but having, oh wow, that's so red. Sorry, um, sorry. But having the uh, Ali Express store, that means I can buy something from Hasbro officially without going through. Um, buying pirated or counterfeit stuff and whatnot. Uh, I could buy at my local Toys R Us, but that's stupid expensive and whatnot. Blah blah blah. But this is a option. Th this is a pretty good option to buy stuff. So that is pretty cool. That is really really cool. You know, I'm going to check out the store for a bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's products. Uh, let's go for Star Wars. Is the popular in thing now? Okay, so oh, they are really amping it up with the sales. That's really cool. Mm, other than that, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Sale price seven. Oh, yep. Cool, 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 cool. So anyway, let's move on to the next news. Yay! Twilight Sparkle is the queen in game, lost game instead of a princess. Hmm. Sorry, that's odd. What's this one? Uh, okay. Uh, so in Game Love, the pony game that Game Love have, Twilight is the queen. Okay. Um, Sweetie Belle here just says, "Uh, who are you two, and why are you blocking my way into Rarity Store? I've." got to I've gotta go help my sister make Queen Twilight's coronation gown 
So this is something interesting. Why would Game Love do or why would Game Love announce Twilight as a queen? My theory for this one is that when Game Love got the game or got the uh, character models and whatnot or whatever it is, they just got outlines for characters and when they saw or maybe it was written on to the description sheet or whatever it is that they mentioned Twilight was a queen or something like that. That could be the reason. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but there's a chance that this might get patched out. So we'll have to wait and see. I personally don't play the game anymore because, yeah, uh, this kind of games are not my thing. And let's move on to the last news. And the last news is, them fighting herds include a new humble bundle, choice bundle, yay. So this is fun, this is fun. So if you guys got no idea what humble bundle is, I'll give you a brief description. Humble bundle is a website where you can purchase games for cheap or for a reduced price where you could also help donate to a cause. So let's see. So oh, Overwatch is on sale. So for January 2020, the choice for our games are, let's say here, uh, you can, huh, let's see, okay. Um, you know what, let's try and do this. Subscribe, no, bundle, paid bundle. The humble bundle choice. Subscribe. Why would I want to subscribe? Oh no, that's a subscription based thing. January 2020. Can I? Uh, you know what? But what what Humble Bundle do is you buy games, you can give some to uh, charity from the World Wildlife Foundation to St Jude's Children's Research Hospital to Action Against Hunger, and so on. I've had some, and I mentioned before saying that, hey, uh, they have pony comics and whatnot. And these are some of their previous bundles. This is what, Shadow Tomb Raider? So, uh, choose of nine games. This is something that they want to push, where subscribe and get games and stuff, which is kind of cool. Personally, for me, I don't have any that I want to. But if you're interested, you should try it out. I am just trying to look here. We create uh, create 10 plus PC games for you to choose from every month. You choose up to 9 from the list and keep forever. It is cool. It is cool. Other than that, I got no idea. I I don't really use Humble Bundle. If you guys do, do explain it to me better and try to help the others. Hmm. Where is the Humble Bundle store? Okay, let's see what you have. Ah. Oh. I got no idea. But anywho, uh, that's interesting. And them fighting hurts are pretty awesome. So. If you want to buy and support the game, you can do so here too. Yay! Much more fun, much more fun. So anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? In all honesty, uh, my week has been pretty slow. I haven't been doing much really. I mean, there is the occasional playing of the games and magic and stuff but other than that nothing much nothing new um how was my new year's if you were asking it was not bad i did some mm, you know what nah i i just went out pick up a friend then we had dinner and dinner was pretty disappointing because we went to this one store or restaurant and the service was crap, utterly crap. It took them half an hour to get us our drinks. And our drinks are just hot tea and 
ice lemon tea. It's not hard. It's not hard. So we got peeved and we decided to pay for our drinks and GTFO. So we went to one of our regular stores and we just ate there before the New Year. So it was kind of dull and uneventful. But it was pretty cool. I mean, we had a good meal. I had... Wow, what what do they call it? Like, I think you Americans call it tongi or gruel. Oh, that sounds sad. But it, I, I, I promise you guys, it was really nice. <laughs> um, other than that... Um, it was fine. Nothing, nothing special. Um, as for this week, played magic, and uh, went to a friend's birthday party. So it was kind of cool. Nothing much, really. I mean, I haven't been doing anything eventful. I've been slacking off on Overwatch because life gets in the way, work gets in the way. And the new format kind of really helps in the arena of trying to push out content where I'm stupid busy. But still, uh, still that's besides the point. Um, not sure about next week though. Oh, I do know that I'm going to catch up on some movies like Ip Man 4. Yep, going to watch that one soonish. And for you guys who are still listening, um, this week or whatever it is that we're doing this, we're going to be recording movies of 2019, uh, our thoughts on it and whatnot. And we're going to go for something like pick five out of the tens of movies that I saw and pick the ones that I consider to be interesting maybe it <laughs> may it be good or bad so yeah we shall see i have watched a lot from john wick 3 to star wars so yeah we will we, we have to see we have to see but anywho uh, let's move on to well wrapping things up oh my god it's so bright i'm sorry people at home on the youtubes you people who are watching or listening to this on the iTunes slash Stitcher Radio won't really be affected by this. Oh, I'm sorry. But anywho. <coughs> okay, so. <coughs> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and switch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the review in, <laughs> to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies or specials. And also we do other things. Sometimes we like to do comic books, games, movies, and whatever tickles our interest. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, Tristan and also Jeffrey thank you so much guys you have been great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and well I hope you guys have a an awesome and great start to the new year hope everything you have ever wanted comes to fruition and hope you guys have a great start of the year and have a great year also anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys later see ya